Things went poorly. Things went poorly. Things went very poorly. Things went very poorly. Ah! Run, Ryan, run! Oh, Jesus, criminy. No, he's going over the rock. Oh, oh God, he's right there! What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and welcome back to the island. That's right, you guys. We are back on the island stand. Oh, man, is it going to be an awesome freaking day. So, last episode, guys, we got our brand new Happy the Tappy and our brand new 120 T-Rex, guys. Oh, I'm so freaking excited that we got all of those freaking cool dinos, but today's going to be even cooler, guys. So, Happy the Tappy is proving to be a great addition to our dino uh, army if you want to call that an army up there, but I did a little bit of grinding off uh, off camera yesterday and by a little bit I mean 5900 metal worth of uh, a lot of grinding and uh, It's time to do a little bit more grinding So let me go ahead and pop this 100 gasoline into that Jenny and we're good to go And we'll go ahead and turn this bad boy on and inside of here. Look at all this stuff guys 100 134 oh snap look at all those narco berries look at all the spoiled meat I bet you will have I bet you will run out of spoiled meat before we run out of narco berries And that is saying something that means our farm is overproducing which is not necessarily a good thing But it's it means we're really never going to run out of narco berries So I suppose I can look at that as a good thing, but we'll go ahead and let those craft up while I'm talking to you So why did I make up 5900 metal well? I have plans for a future project that requires a lot of freaking metal guys, so it's time to start hoarding it inside of the vaults. But while I was doing some off-camera grinding, one of my friends, Glow, he gave me a low-level Quetz. So check this out, guys. We have a Quetzal now. He's a level 31, and it was literally just something to help me get metal from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain. And, uh, oh my god, was it so freaking helpful. God. I took about 10, 15 trips from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain. Uh, just like this. Back and forth, back and forth. And it's got decent stats. Even with this low of a Quetzal, it's still almost at 2k, uh, 2k weight. Hello, Rex. What level are you, big guy? Level 8? We'll go ahead and take care of you while I'm talking to you guys. But yeah, so... We have a new Quetzal, and it's definitely proving to be a good, good addition to our uh, our fleet of dinosaurs. But you know what? I want more dinosaurs, guys. I want more. And so what I was thinking about getting today is I want to go out and see if we can't tame just some regular stuff, you know? I want to see if we can find a beaver. I want to see if we can maybe, just maybe, tame a mammoth. A mammoth would be a good addition as far as getting wood up here as well as berries in the event of us uh, not having any fertilizer to grow our um, medjo berries. But the medjo berries are doing completely fine, as are the narco and the stem berries, as you saw with all those uh, freaking narco berries. But I want to at least find a beaver, because beavers... I think beavers are better than mammoths, in my own humble opinion, because those suckers can get so much more wood than mammoths could. Like, the mammoths before... That was really the only way that you could get a ton of metal, or a ton, yeah, a ton of wood. But now, beavers get so much more wood, not to mention it's, it weighs less in their inventory. So that's just a natural freaking storage unit for wood. And so that's definitely something that we should probably get into. And if we can find two, then we can have unlimited beavers, you know? We can just have, we can just keep popping beavers out, and it'll be awesome. But yeah, so that's, that's one of the things that I want to do today. And then I also want to get... A little bit of work done around the base. Maybe get some stuff um, revamped. Maybe get some stuff worked uh, up around the base. And um, maybe get a little bit of organization going. Because uh, we need a little bit of organization as far as the dire wolves and the wrecks goes. Because as we get more dinos, it's going to get more crowded. And so we need a little bit better way to organize. And so I'm thinking we utilize more of that ground down below. And uh, where the, uh, the forge is at and stuff like that. And uh, we make like a dino pen or something like that. Something to, I guess, organize all the dinos. That way they're not all at the top. But yeah, so got a lot of work ahead of us today, guys. But I'm going to start out today just by getting some metal uh, smelting up down below. And uh, and yeah, getting those narcotics made so I can make some more trank arrows, guys. So I tell you what, I'm going to get a bunch of this stuff made up. And then uh, we're going to head out on, uh, on Happy the Tappy and see if we can't find a beaver. So I'll see you soon. All right, you guys, so we are out here on Happy the Tappy, and I'm just flying down the river. I uh, I just saw a couple beaver dams, but no beavers. Like, I raided both of them, got the cementing paste and, like, the, 
the pearls and the rare flowers and stuff like that, but there were no beavers to be found, so I don't exactly know where they're at. I don't know if they're hiding. I don't know if they're afraid of me. Hello, other Tapajara. What level are you, big guy? Level 4? You're pretty garbage, did you know that? But yeah, so I just thought I'd bring you guys back in and uh, talk to you guys a little bit. Uh, we need to get a tree sap tap up because with the new Akatina coming out, which is the, uh, the giant snail, the Akatina takes sweet veggie cakes to tame. Now, oh, hello. Hang on. Hang on. That was a level 100 Allosaurus. That was a level 100 Allosaurus. Is it dead or is it inside of that pack? Okay, hang on. Oh, it's right there. <gasps> oh, guys, that would be amazing to get. A level 100 Allosaurus? Holy Jesus. What level are these guys? 32 and a level 8? Oh, my God. That would be amazing. Okay, that would be actually really good to get. I don't know if we're going to tame it, though. I have 175 Trank Arrows and two Crossbows, but I don't know if I could even tank. I, I don't even know if I could Trank that thing. We'll come back to it. It'll, I'm sure it'll still be here. But anyways, the Akatina takes sweet veggie cakes to tame, and I'm pretty sure I heard someone, or I've heard a rumor uh, that it takes only sweet veggie cakes, like, whenever it, it eats, which, if that's the case, then one, that's a little bit uh, weird, and two, that's very expensive, because sweet veggie cakes cost a lot of materials. Now, they cost, I think they cost eight sap, they cost stimulants, they cost the veggies, they cost a ton of stuff, guys. Looks like someone's already ahead of me, and, uh, has a tree platform up. Do they have a tree sap tap up? Can I steal from it? Nope. Damn. <laughs> this is kind of a neat area over here, though. I've never seen this. This is kind of a neat... Oh, hello. What was that over there? Is that an alpha? Ooh, it's an alpha carno. Hello. Level 12. Interesting. But yeah, so we're definitely going to need to get a tree sap tap up. Oh, hello, beaver. No, get away from him, carno. That's a level... I thought that said a level 120, and I was about to crap my pants. All right, wait. Let's see. I, ah, I can't see. Okay, let's see. Where's he at? All right, we got a level 12 and a level 20. Okay, it says there's another beaver next to him. Oh, yeah, it's right next to him. Okay, so the beaver should be able to take him on. Okay, so we got a level 20 and a level 16. So it looks like there's a few beaver dams in the area. Like, there's one, there's two, I think there's three right there. So it looks like they like to hang out by the swamp, if I'm seeing that correctly. Now, a high-level beaver would definitely be a good thing to get, but... I'll settle for a lower level beaver just to get one in the first place, and then we can work our way up from there. Level 8 tappy, garbage. But yeah, so uh, eventually we're going to need to get the tree sap tap up, so maybe either we could do that in this episode, or we could do that next episode, because God knows I've got the materials for it. I have so many freaking materials, guys. It's ridiculous. Uh, and I don't actually know why I came out here on the freaking Tapijara. I'm not going to be able to pick up a damn beaver. So I don't actually know why I came out here on the Tappy, but oh well. Uh, can I can't pick him up, right? No, I can't. Okay, well that's okay. We'll just walk him back and uh, we'll have fun that way. But anyways, I'm going to see... You know what? We may as well just tame it. Oh no, there's terror birds attacking him. Oh no, okay. Okay, nope, 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 nope. Okay, that one is basically dead. We'll just kill that one. Oh, God, did you hear it? It screamed. It went, Aah! That was terrifying. Okay, where's the other one at? Is it underwater? Oh, beaver. Okay, there's the other beaver right there. Let's see. Is that the level 16? That is a level 16. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and tame that level 16. It's not going to be anything special. Its stats are probably going to be absolute trash, but... It's going to be a beaver, and we'll probably be able to pump its stats, at least its weight, to be something better than what it is. So let's go ahead and start tranking it. Shouldn't take more than, like, ten tranks, I would hope. God, if it takes more than ten, we're pretty much uh, fighting a super beaver. All right, come on, big guy. God, he does 21 damage to me. That's actually kind of impressive that he does so much damage to me. All right, the tappy jar is fine. And he's out. Good stuff. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this beaver all tamed up, guys, and... Uh, then we'll go from there, so I'll see you soon. All right, you guys, so, got the beaver up. He is good to go. He, his stats are, eh, they're not the best, but the reason I'm making spike balls is to protect him because we're gonna tame that Allosaurus, guys, but he is surrounded by his little posse, and he's got a couple Rexes over there, too, to protect him. 
And so we need to go over there and clear them out. Let's see, where's the aloe at? He's right over there, I think. Uh, no, those are diplos and raptors. There's the rex. Uh, where did the aloe go? I was just waiting for me to turn around and see it right in front of me. I think I would have screamed so freaking loud. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. It's somewhere across the river from us. It might have walked down the river a little bit. Let's see. Uh, I don't see... It might be in the tree line, actually. In fact, I bet you... Oh god, there's one just standing right there. That's a little bit scary. Good god, that's terrifying. But chances are, they're actually just standing right there. Yep, there he is. Okay, so it looks like there's only two of them. Two Allosaurs. One is only level 16, so the other one should be pretty dang easy to kill. Now, the reason I made the, uh, the spike walls is because I'm going to wrap these two in spike walls, and I'm going to keep these two safe while I go over there and risk my life to try and tame one dinosaur. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and put these spike walls up. Hopefully, these guys stay safe inside of this spike wall. Now, the one things, or the things that I'm afraid of coming to get them is really just um, T-Rexes. T-Rexes and Carnos are probably the only things that I'm afraid of coming to get them because they're going to be able to step over the, uh, the spikes, most likely. I actually don't even know if that's actually possible, but I don't want to stick around to find out. So the faster we can get this Allosaurus tamed, the better, and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, so they are safe. All right, let's whistle passive. And we'll make sure there's no holes. Okay, they are good to go. And now it's time to go over there and see if we can't tame this bad boy. All right, we got 340 weight. Let's take out my shotgun just in case. All right, we got the Rex down the beach. We need to get across the water and find high ground to get up on and tame him from. Now, his little buddy is just kind of chilling there. I bet you he's stuck on that tree. So we should come around the back of him, flank behind him, take him out with a shotgun, Get the prime meat from him, and then go and grab his friend. Oh, come on, you stupid frickin' fish. Come on. Get at me. Nobody likes you. Stupid frickin' piranhas. God, I hate frickin' fish. All right, so let's see. Where are we at? Where's his buddy? Oh, hello, Rex. Okay, we're gonna have to take this Rex out, too. All right, let's see. What levels is Rex? Level 12? Level 8. Even better. Come here, big guy. All right, good. Rex is dead. Wow, this thing does so much damage. <laughs> I just two shot at a freaking level eight Rex. Okay, we're good to go on that front. All right, where is the Allosaurus? Oh, lo okay, there he is. I see him. He's hiding in the trees. He's hiding in the bushes. All right, this one, this one can die. How you doing, big guy? Okay, good. We just one shot at an Allosaurus. Good to go. All right, good, good, good. Now, his friend. His friend is the one that we want to tame, and that one is. Skulking around in the trees, I bet you. I lost sight of him. I have my flak armor on. I brought it with me just in case we found anything bigger than a beaver. And sure enough, we did. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't see him. I see that raptor attacking that diplo. Is he back here attacking those brontos? I don't want to go into the woods. Be oh, wait. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. I just saw him. I was about to say, I don't want to go into the woods looking for him and have him come, like, right behind me and flank me. And I bet you that's what he's trying to do. You know, the Allosaurus, its AI is so smart. Because whenever they're in a group, they will flank you. They will not hesitate to flank you. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he's fighting those Brontos. There's no doubt about that. Yes, he is indeed fighting the Brontos. We need to help him out because we can't afford to lose this Allo. Okay, ow, that kind of hurt. I thought, I thought the aloe came and hit me. I was like, oh, God. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and try and take this one out. That one must be kind of high level. If it's taking this many shots from a journeyman shotgun. All right. That one should be almost dead. Hopefully, it's almost dead. I don't want to hit the aloe either. Come on. Die. Okay. That one's dead. Good, good, good. He'll eat that one, and then he'll be able to take down the other one without a problem. In fact, I could probably get some prime meat from this guy, too. There we go. All right, good stuff. All right, now where is the aloe? Okay, he's taking on the Bronto. All right, that one's dead. Okay, I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. All right, I'm gonna try and lure it back out to the beach. Maybe. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take out the Trank Arrows. Okay, he's right there. He's right there. He's just kind of chilling. Now, we need a rock where we could perch on so that he can't get to us. Unless he already found us. 
All right, I tell you what, you guys. I'm going to see what I can do about this Allosaurus. I'm going to see if I can't get it knocked out. And uh, if we get it, oh, man, you guys. If we get it, I'm going to be so happy. So I'll see you guys soon. Things went poorly. Things went poorly. Things went very poorly. Things went very poorly. Ah! Run, Ryan, run! Oh, Jesus, criminy. No, he's going over the rock. Oh, oh God, he's right there! Save me, Parasaur. Save me. Oh, Jesus. Is he? Ah! <laughs> They're all behind me now. <laughs> I'm so afraid. Are they still behind me? Okay, the raptor's behind me. Good, good, good. Okay, 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 okay. Die. Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I have, my, I have my wits about me. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I need to get up on one of these rocks. Please, for the love of God, don't kill me again. Please don't hit me again. Okay, we're good. Just start landing pot shots. All right, you guys. So, after dying one time uh, and having all of my armor broken, I am standing here in my fur armor tracking this thing because it got stuck inside some rocks. Uh, oh, my God. This thing is a little bit powerful. Uh, it pushed me into the water. It broke my armor. It broke my legs. I was I was out of freaking stamina trying to swim to shore. I thought it died when I came back here. I grabbed the Pelagornis and flew back here. Uh, and then I saw it inside this ravine. So I, I thought, you know what? Why not Why not strike now? And so I, it got stuck, thank God. But I don't even know if it's, this is going to work because it's dying. You see the blood? It's literally dying. So I don't even know if this is going to work. So hopefully it does. <laughs> oh, snap. It worked. It worked. Oh, snap. All right, now I need prime meat. And there's some Calicotheriums right there. I think these guys give prime meat. We're about to find out. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. We're going to get a level 100 aloe. Come here, big guy. I need you to die. Thank you. <laughs> 14 raw prime meat. There we go, guys. Oh, we got some prime meat. Let's put the prime meat in its butt. Just kidding. Let's stick the prime meat in it, and uh, we'll be good to go, guys. Oh, I'm so freaking happy. Hopefully, the cage with the tapajara and the uh, the beaver is holding. Uh, I had to actually fly over there and kill a carno uh, that was attacking the gate. So, my worst fear came true, uh, and carnos were attacking it. But, hopefully, it's still holding. And, guys, if we can get this, oh, my God. We're going to have a freaking 120 Rex and a level 100 aloe. Oh, 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 we're gonna have so much power. So much power. All right, so I'm gonna get this guy all tamed up, and I'll be back soon. All right, you guys. So, got a saddle on our Allosaurus, but I have some bad news, guys. Uh, I forgot that uh, the Winter Biome is home to the most wolves in the freaking world, and so we lost our beaver. Now, it kind of sucks, but then again, I was also kind of expecting it. And the reason I was expecting it was because that was a very low level beaver. And because I had to walk it, there was really no, oh god. There was really no way that it it would have survived. It probably would have bit the dust no matter uh, if I walked it back myself or if I had like a saddle on it. No, it, it would not have survived. I needed a Quetzal and I didn't have it. I, I didn't go back and get it. I should have. That would have been smarter, but that's okay. It's in the past now. And uh, we have the aloe. The aloe is still alive, and he's got quite a few levels on him. But I uh, walked past where the house was at because I, I can't see anything in the snow. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I'm going to have to call the episode here because we are all out of time. But next episode, guys, we're going to get to uh, the organization of the dinosaurs and stuff like that. We need to get to the organization of the dinosaurs because... I can't stand having all of these dinos everywhere scattered all the way around my base and stuff like that because uh, you know how I feel about organization. I have to have things organized, but we're gonna get some. We're gonna have, we're gonna get some good stuff done next episode, guys. We might get some vaults up, some more vaults up. We might get some more uh, defenses up. Uh, get another building up so that we can put dinos in it. I've got a lot of plans for some buildings around uh, the bottom of the base, guys. So look forward to that, guys. But with that being said. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos, and I will see you guys in the next video.